I always found it pretty strange that Palpatine lost to Jedi Master Mace Windu before more or less defeating Master Yoda, who was arguably the clear, superior and more powerful Jedi. Then I realised that there could be a completely logical reason behind Palpatine seemingly losing to Master Windu, and it was all part of the Emperor's master plan. Let's get into this theory. Palpatine is one of the smartest characters we've ever seen in Star Wars. He single-handedly took over the Republic to then take over the galaxy, manipulating and tricking anyone he could and killing anyone who got in the way of his plan. Before he took over the galaxy, he planned to seduce Anakin Skywalker, who was labelled as the Chosen One and possibly the most powerful and promising Jedi the Council had ever seen. Palpatine needed Anakin for his plan, so he kept his eye on Anakin for the minute Anakin started his training at 9 years old. During the time of Revenge of the Sith, Palpatine's plan was spiralling into motion. Dooku was dead, Grievous was dead, all that remained was Palpatine and his new apprentice. Once Anakin was on Palpatine's side, he knew the Jedi didn't stand a chance, not against him, Anakin and the clone troopers once Order 66 was initiated. Palpatine told Anakin that he was the Sith Lord the Jedi were looking for because he knew that it caused a chain reaction. He knew Anakin would inform Mace Windu and then he knew the Jedi would come for him. When the Jedi arrive at Palpatine's office, Palpatine almost instantly engages them in battle. Palpatine kills three Jedi Masters with absolute ease, but leaves Windu. He leaves Windu for a long duel, but why? Palpatine knows that despite being told to stay away, Anakin will interfere. He knows that Anakin will get involved, and that is the perfect and the only opportunity to turn Anakin to the dark side. So what does Palpatine do? He holds Windu off and toys with him until he knows Anakin is in the building. Is it a coincidence that Palpatine loses to Windu just as Anakin walks in the room, Palpatine put himself in a position where Anakin would need to choose between the Jedi and him, and since Palpatine knew that Anakin would do anything to save Palpatine, it was a perfect plan. It was Palpatine's doing all along. He knew Anakin would report to the Jedi, and he knew they would come for him. He took out the first three Jedi Masters with absolute ease, and then held off and toyed with Windu until Anakin arrived. For Anakin to then inevitably betray the Jedi, it was the perfect plan and it worked. If this wasn't Palpatine's intention and Palpatine's plan, then how did Palpatine lose to Windu to then defeat Jedi Master Yoda? If Palpatine fought Windu to the same extent he fought Yoda, Palpatine would be the victor. Alright guys, so that is my theory on why Palpatine intentionally lost to Mace Windu. I did always find it weird because I was under the impression that Yoda was the, was the most powerful Jedi and you know, the main Jedi, so how could he lose to Mace Windu and then pretty much defeat Yoda? It didn't make any sense, but then when you piece th these things together and you know, you take into account how Anakin would do anything for Padme and he knew Anakin would go and tell Windu, it just, it, the, the timing was perfect, it's, it's too, it's too, you know, convenient to not be a plan, I think. So what do you guys think of this theory? Is this theory correct? Am I right? Let me know your thoughts on this in the comment section down below. Get this cool theory out there by sharing this video and showing your friends. Follow me on Twitter at Kwai underscore Gon Josh. Drop a like if you enjoyed, that extremely helps me out. And subscribe to me for more regular Star Wars videos. Thanks for watching guys.